Aloha everyone and welcome to our channel. I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the Mommy Subsistence Manager and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. A good friend gave us this lovely little cabinet. So in this tutorial, we will be working on it and uh, using a variety of uh, greens, um, waxes, furniture transfers, also the new English floral transfer or from the single paint. So, so, so if you'd like to see how we did it step by step, please stay with us till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe! First step, the crucial step, is cleaning the piece with white lightening Dixie Bell's cleaner. Then, after it dried, I applied two coats of primer slick stick, let it dry overnight. I applied evergreen as a base coat and a patch of limeade where we are going to place the transfer. Don't worry about the brush strokes or about the way you apply the base coat as the second coat will be little textured anyway. I painted the top with black using caviar from Dixie Bell by dubbing it so it will result in a really soft texture. I also painted the cabinet interior with flamingo, which is a great contrasting color in this green situation. I have started off with evergreen and I dabbed it to create a soft texture, just using more paint on the brush to achieve that. After I finished dabbing evergreen, I took a cheap brush and I added a stronger shade of green called Tree Frog Green from Dixie Bell Paint and I applied it in various spots. I dabbed it in all directions to soften the hard edges and slightly blend it into the evergreen to create depth. Then I brought in palmetto and I dabbed it on the corners, along the edges and also near the handler, just a tiny bit there.
I did the same steps on the second door, around the limeade patch. As I finished blending the greens, I added the second coat of limeade on the corner, where the transfers will be positioned, and start blending it with green. I spread it too much over green, so I have added a bit of green over and uh, dabbed it together. I kept dabbing, adding green, dabbing again until I was happy with it. Don't forget to use the mist bottle to keep the paint uh, damp at all times. I used a different brush to apply each color and I also had a separate clean brush to blend the colors into each other and soften edges. I'm not aiming here for a perfect blend but a clean brush will help the, um, to blend the colors while letting them strong. I did the same on the sides, starting with evergreen, then I added three frog green in different spots and dabbed it together. Then I added the palmetto and um, blended it and finally I added caviar and blended it and that's it. Here are the same steps as I did on the front of the piece. On this side, we needed to have um, a lamade uh, patch, so it will match the left door, but the technique is, um, is the same. As the second coat was drying, it was time for us to choose the transfer. And what a hard work it has been, as the plan was to combine the steampunk transfer with the vintage floral one. Choices, choices, so many choices and beautiful ones. In the end, we decided what roses to use around the steampunk character, and also what the um, layout will be, and we made a picture on how we want to place them, so we know where to position the transfer on the actual piece. As the character face uh, was clear, the limeade color underneath wasn't a really good match, so we have painted a patch of peacock, which worked out so well with the transfer. A 
as we finished adding the transfer, I took a little artist brush and I started to create drips underneath the roses with crazy plum, peony and flamingo. We felt like something is missing on in that uh, limeade corner, so we added black wax and created a few drips which made it look complete. In the end, I accentuated the handler with Cooper gilding wax. We sealed the piece with flat top coat and this is the final result.